How to add banner images. So step one, find an image. I like to use Pixabay or Pexels. They have high quality images with open licenses. All right. Once you have located an image, try and find one that would work well for a banner image. So the next thing we want to do is capture the image. We can do that in a number of ways. We want to make sure that that width is 1,000 to 1,200 pixels wide. We can either download or select view from here. Don't forget your attribution information that you can place on the page in Canvas. To get this image and capture it at the right ratio, the snipping tool is a good option. Once we've selected the snipping tool, we select the area that we would like to be our banner image, and then once we let go, an image is created. We can save that to the computer. It's nice to put it on the desktop, good temporary place to get access to it later. Next we want to place that image in Canvas. So we navigate to the course in question and select files. We're going to upload that image into the files section for the course. Now that the image is in the files section, we want to apply it to a page. So how to replace a banner image in course forges. So if you have a course forge, you want to navigate to the page in question, select edit, and then you want to select the template banner image. You want to click on that first and then go to embed image. From there we will search our canvas files for the banner image that we've uploaded there. We're going to select it. You could choose to have it be in banner image or decorative image rather. Select save and then we've replaced that banner image. It's important to follow these steps um, carefully because it maintains any background code associated with that image such as width, corners, and shadows. So follow these steps for banner images and feel free to contact us in TELS for other training needs.